here we are once again. We've had a few videos on straight pull bolts. I received a few requests about the Merkel Helix, which I have right here. The requests were um, quite specific. They were asking how does the Merkel Helix lock and how does the Helix compare with the other straight pull bolt actions, which I tried to do in another video. I guess I didn't do a great job. Anyway, I've got a Blazer R8 here in the foreground and we all know the um, call it locking system that the Blazer R8 uses and the uh, Blazer R93 and recently we looked at the Heim SR30 and I guess I've kind of neglected the Merkel Helix uh, for no particular reason it's an excellent rifle this one I took to the range and I can tell you when I first examined the rifle you'll see how the action works it, 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 I don't know what you call this, I guess it's like a force multiplier. So the ratio of movement between the movement of the bolt and of the bolt handle and the actual bolt is on a ratio. So you can see I don't have to move this bolt handle very far in order for the bolt to move the whole distance. This is in 308 and I mean obviously it's the fastest of the, the big pull bolt actions. Um, I can't remember what I paid for this. It's not an inexpensive rifle, but none of them are. Um, it came with a couple of barrels. This one has no sights and it's a 308 and I have a another 308 barrel that's a little bit lighter and it does have sights. Um, accuracy as usual, exceptional accuracy. And um, I guess we get back to that action. So when I looked at this, the first thing that occurred to me was, well, it's fast and it's a highly intelligent and obviously brilliant piece of engineering but I kind of doubted primary extraction just because I I mean obviously it's not a turn bolt so it doesn't have the Mauser camming um, action and then on top of that I thought the handle the bolt handle doesn't have that much distance to turn and pull out the cartridge. Anyway, long story short, this rifle works with all factory ammunition perfectly. I used Remington, Winchester, I think I even tried some Cellier and Bellot, and, which is excellent ammunition, some Federal, whatever I had around. <clears throat> then I had kind of a um, Ziploc bag of leftover ammo, I tried that, um, and, and it worked perfectly. And then I had a cardboard box or two of Swiss machine gun ammunition. And I'm assuming that the Swiss machine gun ammunition is, is, um, is probably a hot loading. I don't know that to be true. But I loaded the Swiss 308 uh, machine gun ammo. And I guess that's the NATO specifications. And I've used that same ammunition in lots of... In fact, I used it in the R8. Um, anyway, so I, I fired and, um, and then there was some resistance here in the first movement of the bolt. Um, in other words, the, it, it was having trouble, but then with enough force, it broke free and it kind of surprised me because I thought maybe that Swiss machine gun ammo would, would, it couldn't, couldn't be budged by this action, but it worked. Um, so getting back to all the questions, this is a turn bolt rifle. There is no collet, there are no ball bearings, there is no tipping. Somebody wrote me that it's a tipping action and I can understand maybe why you would think that. But this is just a very intelligent turning bolt action. So the, the motion which would be accomplished normally um, it, by, by your hand is um, accomplished in this linear motion and you can see the locking lugs uh, there are more than uh, the normal two or three I never counted it's probably six or nine I'm going to turn it this way and this is a challenge for our camera crew here there's there's the bolt head I'm assuming you can see it um, I wanted to um, close the bolt and then you could see it turning but you can see it moving I'm sure you can see it moving but in the last instant 
what amounts to a bolt carrier um, covers the final movement of the bolt. So that's how it, at the last, that's how it locks. And um, I mean, that's a completely proven system. I'm sure all the bolt lugs engage. So, um, long story short, excellent action, so fast you can shoot it almost as quickly as a semi-automatic from the shoulder. The um, bolt does not come out the back of the action. This is a very distracting thing that Mausers do, the R8 does, the SR30 does, this comes back in your face. And if something goes wrong, all of these parts are airborne. Not that that's going to happen, but on the helix, everything is captured within the action. So you're, you're sheltered by the action itself. And I'm always in favor of that. That's why I like, um, well, any sealed breech weapon is going to be safer, ultimately, than one that is open. And that's despite my, my um, admiration for Mausers. But this helix is something... I can't think of an improvement, but maybe the engineers um, at Merkel can. And um, to repeat myself, it's clearly the fastest. It's a turn bolt, so it's solid. So not much else to say. And I have kind of a extended magazine. Everything on it is intuitive and, and quick. You can, see, you can see how quickly you can work this action. There's just nothing else that compares to it. Uh, I think I mentioned in another video it could be adapted to pump action or lever action. This is remarkable that they probably have patent protection. If you can get your hands on one of these, uh, lightning quick shooting, uh, supreme accuracy. And, um, I mean, how many people even have Swiss machine gun ammunition? I don't know where I bought it, but you know, whenever I can get cheap ammunition, I buy it. Uh, but that's a different loading. As for factory stuff like the RW stuff, I think RWS, I think you can shoot that for the rest of your life. It's not going to jam in, in this gun anytime soon. Uh, so hopefully that answers your questions. If I've missed something or if you want me to show you something else, just um, send me a note. And other than that, as always, thank you so much for watching. Very important that you subscribe to the channel and um, join me on Patreon as I try to always say. And thanks again, and you all take care out there. Bye-bye.